What's up guys, welcome to a new video where today we're gonna to be talking about a very interesting product. In front of me, we have the 32 inch Samsung Smart Monitor, more specifically the Smart Monitor M7. Now, whenever I saw this announced last year, I was like, there's no way this monitor can do all the things that it's claiming to do. But I'm here today to talk about it and to show you guys just exactly what this monitor can actually do. And thank you so much to Samsung for sponsoring this video. This is actually the first Samsung monitor with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, wireless decks, USB-C, and HDMI connectivity, and support for AirPlay 2. But wait, this can also turn into a smart TV entertainment hub where you can enjoy content from your favorite apps like Netflix, HBO Max, YouTube, and so much more without an external device. All while viewing on a 4K UHD display with a refresh rate of up to 60 hertz. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the ports. In the back here, we have the USB-C connectivity, we have USB type a ports, Bluetooth 4.0. This also does have a visa mount support. This also has two built in five watt speakers, which I was actually very surprised by how good they sounded. One of the things that caught my attention was when Samsung said that you can use this smart monitor like a PC, but without actually connecting it to a PC. Since this monitor does connect to Wi-Fi, with cloud capabilities, you're able to connect to the cloud and work remotely on projects. So I actually opened up Microsoft 365 and I pulled up a Word document. I wrote up this entire script on this smart monitor, I connected a keyboard. You can wirelessly connect a keyboard. I actually just plugged one in with USB into the back. I connected a mouse and I wrote up this whole document without a PC, but using Microsoft Word from the cloud on this monitor. So while you do have the option of using those cloud-based services as well, you also have the option to connect to a PC, a mobile device, or you're even able to use remote access, tap view, casting, or Apple AirPlay 2. Another thing you're able to do is actually connect wirelessly with DeX. And as you can see, it brings up my whole phone, but on the monitor, if you click down here, I can then use the device as a touchpad. So this feature allows you to connect a Galaxy device to a bigger screen. For example, the 32 inch UHD 4K display. I can connect seamlessly from my phone while still having full control of my phone, but now I'm just able to view it on a bigger display. This was very dangerous when I was testing it out with TikTok and I was sitting scrolling on TikTok for 45 minutes when I was supposed to be preparing for my video and doing work. <laughs> I want to talk about tap view for a second because whenever I first saw this, I was like, there's no way you can just tap your device and it's then going to be projected on the monitor. Like that's not a thing. I'm here to tell you that it is a thing. All I do is I take my Samsung Galaxy, I tap right here on the monitor or up here. It recognizes that I'm trying to connect and I am able to then project from my Galaxy device on the monitor. It's recommended that you have a case on your phone. I do not, so you need to be very careful because obviously you don't want to scratch your device. So be careful when tapping. So the other day, Justine and Tyler were over and we were working and I actually, I did the tap view and I pulled up the pictures and videos that I took on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I was showing them all the pictures and the videos and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. No one is like huddled around my phone. Like I'm able to pull this up on this big display and we can all enjoy it. That was actually a really cool thing and I also the fact that I took all of the pictures in the videos on a Samsung device, viewing it on a Samsung device, it was cool. Another great feature that I like, I don't know about you guys, but the new work from home, I've been staring at screens and monitors basically all day long. We now have adaptive picture and eye saver mode, which will automatically adjust screen brightness as well as blue light levels based on the environment and flicker free screen, which also helps reduce eye strain. I have definitely noticed that my eyes are very tired and they're kind of dry and I think it's because of the eye strain. So having these features definitely is going to help reduce that. So if you're not impressed yet, we still have some more to talk about. So this has a complete entertainment hub, which is powered by Tizen, which has an embedded app store. So you're able to enjoy smart TV content from Netflix, HBO Max, YouTube, and so much more without an external device. We also have the voice assistance and control with Bixby 2.0, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and smart things integration for a more accessible experience. So now I wanna talk about my personal use cases of how I've been using this smart monitor. I do most of my work from this 13 
13 inch MacBook. It's small, it's lightweight, it's compact, but it's 13 inches. And if I'm editing and staring at emails and staring at this small screen all day long, I'm definitely straining my eyes. And a lot of the times I just need more space so that I can see more things on a bigger screen. Now the monitor comes with a USB-C cable of which I've been using to connect to my 13 inch laptop as well as my smartphone if necessary. So I'll connect my laptop to the USB-C to the back of the hub and then I now have a bigger display where I can do things like scroll through pictures. I'm able to pull up my editing timeline just to have a bigger view. I'm able to read emails a little bit easier and just using this display and having that bigger picture option has definitely helped out my eyes tremendously. Now I also do a lot of gaming. A lot of my actual gaming monitors don't have built-in speakers, so they don't have sound, which means I need to use a headset. And half the time, if I'm just playing for fun, if I'm just hanging out and playing, or if I have some friends over, there's no sound coming out of the monitor, so not everyone can hear. So with this, I will just plug in the HDMI to the back. I can just hang out, grab my controller, I can bump up the sound, and I can play on my Nintendo Switch. This does have a refresh rate of up to 60 hertz. Now I wouldn't say that this is optimal for intense gaming, but it's nice that you definitely have the option to use it for gaming if you choose. So some other times when I'm in between working and maybe I'm rendering out a video, I have been binging a lot of shows recently. Uh, this is nice because like I said, it has the built-in entertainment hub. So I will just click this Netflix button or Prime video. I will pull up the latest show and while my video is exporting or you know, maybe I'm multitasking, I'm able to watch TV, catch up on my shows all from the smart monitor with no external device. Speaking of TV, one time I had a monitor and an Apple TV, a separate Apple TV in my kitchen. And I was like, this is like, there's so many cords, like this isn't practical. So I got rid of that setup. This is very light and compact. So I may or may not have been, you know, maybe just moving this around from time to time and putting it in my kitchen for when I'm gonna be like cooking or hanging out in my kitchen a lot. And it's perfect because it doesn't have any external hubs. It's literally just a power cord if I wanna connect and watch TV while I'm in the kitchen. I can't really cook, but like, you know, sometimes making a frozen pizza requires you know, you to be present at least. So if I'm making a pizza, I can just hang out in the kitchen, watch TV and just chill. What I really like about this monitor as well is it does have support for AirPlay too. I could do 10 minute yoga before I eat my pizza. I'm not going to, but like I, I could. Kitchen smart monitor. I like this a lot. Okay, but I think this is gonna be the most impressive. One second, please. Okay, I'm going to switch to tap view. This is very important. Maddie's looking at me. You're okay, bud, okay? I'm gonna open up the app for the infrared oven, which you can see on here. Uh, I can watch my, uh, watch my pizza cooking on a bigger display. Oh my gosh, it got bigger. This is incredible. Yeah, now we wait. I love technology. I was also trying out some mobile games and wirelessly connecting it to the monitor as well. I was like, maybe this will make me better. Oh yeah, this looks good. I could talk all day about the possibilities that you can do with the Samsung Smart Monitor. It really does feel like the possibilities are endless. So these are just some of the use cases of how I've been personally using the Samsung Smart Monitor. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Samsung for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to learn more about the Samsung Smart Monitor, there's gonna be a link in the description, so check it out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you again soon for a new video.